people think of summer when we talk about beautiful colors in your yard, but it doesn't have to be that way. Joining me at the Iowa Arboretum is Jeff Isles from ISU. And Jeff, what are some plants you recommend for color in the off-season? Well, Liz, you make a great point. Wouldn't it be great if our landscapes could look good year-round? And one way to do that is to use plants that have great fruit displays, especially in the fall of the, of the, of the year. Mm -hmm. And I like to start off talking about crab apples because we all know about their, their floral displays in the spring, but we can't forget about their fruit displays in the fall. And there's so many good ones to talk about. Sugar Time has red fruit. There's one called Bob White that has yellow. And imagine both of those in the landscape at the same mm -hmm. time. Time, really a powerful effect. Another tree that I like is Washington Hawthorn. They have a, a reddish orange fruit that begins to color up in the fall of the year and then the color persists well past the first of the year so it's really a, a fantastic plant. Now what about shrubs? Shrubs, lots of great ones. One of my favorites is the American Cranberry Viburnum. The plant gets about 10 feet tall but is literally covered with masses of red fruit. Tremendous plant. And then the hollies, we can't forget about those. Uh, there's a winterberry holly which is a deciduous plant. It drops its leaves in the fall but has great Great red fruit. Another group of hollies I like are the Meserve hollies, and uh, they also are, are great plants. There's one called Blue Stallion, which is the male, and the female is, is Blue Maid. Now we need both of them in the landscape for the, for the females to have fruit, but great plants. Red Chokeberry is another one that has wonderful red fruit. And then finally the sumacs. We, we've all seen sumacs in the landscape, and we like them because of their, their fall foliage displays, but, but don't forget about the fruit. Bright red, and, and you can see them from quite a distance. All right, well thanks for the colorful tips. And if you'd like more information on fall fruit displays, be sure to log on to GardeningInTheZone.com. I'm Liz Gilman.